This video is to document the ca soft capture and relocation of California bighorn mountain sheep from an area of overpopulation and conflicts with agriculture to an area of former but vacant sheep habitat rejuvenated by a forest fire. The net consists of four large panels clipped together to allow for extraction of captured sheep. Once the composite net is suspended on four tall poles, the tensions on the release mechanisms are very high. So the release mechanisms must be very strong. And yet, with the tiniest electrical impulse from a distantly operated switch, release all four corners of the net synchronously and more or less silently. Bait used is often uh, apple pomace, a favorite of sheep because it's semi-sweet residue of industrial production of apple juice, as well as the food to which they've become habituated in this area, and that is the farmer's hay that you can see being distributed here underneath the net. It's important to reliably forecast the timing of arrival of sheep as well as the numbers of sheep that can be anticipated to be under the net before the large number of volunteers can be scheduled. Volunteers include uh, conservation organizations, emergency medical personnel as well as veterinary medicine personnel. Once they've been thoroughly briefed, the volunteers are hidden in uh, locations around the net before the arrival of the sheep. So I want every, everybody who, I mean, the, the, the information, you can read the information behind here about what is, what's going to happen here, but everybody that doesn't work for the Ministry of Environment and wants to be a part here, please sign one of these, one of these waiver forms. Not down. In radio contact with the uh, net operator, volunteers are ready to deploy quickly once the net is dropped. Notice that the corners of the net come down more quickly than gravity, and that's to bring down the net quickly, uh, and volunteers swarm out of their hiding places to begin suppressing the sheep. The size of the mesh on the net is, is large enough to allow for easy passage of blindfolds and hobbles through the mesh, and once hobbled, the panels can be opened and the sheep transported to the medical processing station where they receive ear tags, as well as uh, numerous uh, disease uh, samples taken and prophylactic injection of antibiotics. Once processed, the sheep are loaded into a trailer for transport to the release site. In the trailer, the presence of other sheep seems to provide some comfort uh, to them and uh, sheep uh, often just stand placidly awaiting uh, transport. The release location for these sheep entailed crossing a large lake so the trailer was loaded onto a barge and barged across and as it reached the f shoreline a ramp was put in place to allow the, the ewes and juveniles to uh, enter their new home. The return to this habitat was welcomed by First Nations uh, elders singing uh, welcoming songs. You can see these sheep have considerable energy as they run up this steep hill. Notice the post-fire circumstances behind this helicopter as it lands. In order to reduce the risk to juveniles and mature ewes, most of which in this season of the year would be pregnant, uh, some of the rams were taken across individually on the floor of a helicopter to the area where the previously released sheep uh, traveled. As these rams are released, you can see that they're in, in good condition and, and no injuries. 
And all of the volunteers in this project can have the satisfaction of knowing that this small seed population of sheep is expected to grow to the capacity of this habitat to sustain them and could, in, could result in hundreds of sheep in this area that wouldn't otherwise be there without their help. Technical aspects of this uh, project were provided by wildlife technician Daryl Stepanowick in Penticton, British Columbia. And the soft capture system uh, design and fabrication was by Bob Lincoln, wildlife biologist retired from the British Columbia Ministry of Environment, Okanagan Region.